I'm going to play this red welty roll, which you can see is red, on this disc clavier. I'm going to do that through this roll reader and this electronic emulator. This converts the expression on the roll to what the MIDI values understand, and at the same time I'm going to record it on this computer. And the recording on this computer will be direct from this roll reader. It won't be the emulation, it'll be the actual roll. Anyway, this has only been happening in the last three hours, and this is about the third roll that we have attempted. It takes a bit of doing because one has to manually adjust everything so that when it's on the spool box, it is aligned to the tracker bar. And this can take several hours. Um, or minutes, certainly. And the only way one can do it is to just keep doing it until it's right. Because it's very difficult to see when it's right. And the only thing I can go on is this line up here.
was Anat Aneta Esipov. That's a Tisky's wife playing this. That role would have been recorded in about 1905. And obviously a very unusual performance. Peter, can you tell our viewers why oh. there's a slight delay between what they might be reading on the tracker bar if they're used to reading uh, roles like I am as a recording artist for roles, and why there's a slight delay between what they see at the tracker bar and what they're seeing on the keyboard of the piano. Yes, that's because of the disc lab. It has a half second delay, so when the notes are here, they're not actually played until they're about there. Mm. But we can switch that off, but I prefer to leave it on. It makes everything right in the disc lab here. And if you hear it through headphones, you don't hear that delay. And how are you able to listen to that through headphones? Oh, very simply, because we have a MIDI module here, which is at the grand piano. And on the noise-cancelling headphones, they don't hear all the motor noise. Put these on. And you have that now being the monitor, and we can turn off the disc clavier so people at night can get some sleep. <laughs> and are you able to play the recording straight away from the, the computer recording of the role? Indeed, and let's do it. Marvellous. No noise, no and air yeah, motor, no rolls. No noise, we need no noise, and now it's there forever. Well, as long as the computer remains. And the only goal is, of course, is to record as many of the reds as I can find. And, of course, at the moment, this raw data with all the expression on the edges of the rolls is, is being read by your newly built emulator. Correct. What about the Disclavia owner who will want to hear those rolls without having all this equipment? What will you be able to do for that? Yes, well, I'll be recording that file played through this onto mm -hmm. that computer so that we end up with the raw file and the emulated file. And the emulated file, of course, plays directly onto the Disclavia. So currently you're up to, is it over 2,000 duo art rolls? 2,334. I don't know. <laughs> Be exact, and 800 and I think 33 welty rolls, wow. and I've now done two red welty rolls as of today. So the other welty rolls were green, green and licensed. And licensed. Many of which are also on red, but I like to record all tops. And how many Ampico files? Because we've got another piano over yes, here. Yes, 1500 of those, and more to come. It's, it's extraordinary. I've uh, always said you're a genius, Peter. Yeah, thank you. That's <laughs> very nice of you to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but one of the advantages of having the disc clavier, this spool box for red, and this spool box here, which does standard tracker bar, licensee and green, they all feed through when they're all connected to the same emulator and all play on the same piano. So we don't need three wealthy pianos. A significant saving considering that I've already got three pianos in this room and hardly even room for those. So you've, in the past you've used an original Ampico instrument and an original Joe Art instrument as your monitoring instrument. When I'm recording the rolls for those instruments, yes. And how do you record those rolls? You change the tracker bar in this particular That's right. box. So we have in the moment we have the Joe Art tracker bar. This is the Welty tracker bar. For that comes out. For licensee and, and, and green. It's a 98 holes. Right. And then we also have up in the workshop an Ampico, an Ampico bar, or two, two bars, A and B. So we've got all these changeable bars. Brilliant. 